everybody. My name is Sunny Gupta. In today's session, we are going to learn new English vocabulary words, which will help you to expand your vocabulary and will also help you to clear CLAT and other judicial exams. So the first word for the day is eruption, meaning to enter forcibly or suddenly. So when you enter by force, zabardasti achanak, that is called eruption sentence. The reign of King Hermes indicates a bar bar barbaric eruption. So when King Hermes came to power, came, uh, ascended the throne, then it indicated the forceful entry of bar bar barbaric tribes. The next word is required, meaning return a favor to someone. So when you're returning a favor to someone, that is called required sentence. He requited my kindness with cruel words. So he returned my kindness with his cruel, harsh, insensitive words. The next word is delectable, meaning Something that is highly pleasing or delicious, especially. So something which is very delicious, very tasty and some very extraordinary. That is called delectable sentence. She then had a delectable mushroom soup. And for the main course, she chose something that was entirely new to her. So first, for the starters, she had a very delicious and mouth-watering mushroom soup. And then for the main course, she chose a completely different uh, dish, which was very, which was new to her. The next word is brook. So brook has got two meanings. First meaning is a small stream. stream. And the next is put up with something or somebody unpleasant. So you are just... Uh, uh, and uh, with something uh, you're not complaining and just you are putting up with something or someone who's unpleasant you're not liking it but still you're not complaining sentence he would brook no criticism even from his beloved daughter so he would not put up with critic uh, with criticism even from his beloved daughter so he would not take criticism even from his lovely beloved daughter the next word is modish meaning confirming to or following what is currently popular and fashionable so basically when you are accepting and following uh, the current fashion the fashion which is going on nowadays that is called modish when you are able to adapt the modern fashion that is called modish sentence in the 1970s it was considered modish to wear bell bottoms so in 1970s uh, uh, Wearing bell bottoms was uh, uh, was considered to be the most fashionable outfit, so that is called modish. The next word is pander, meaning a person who assists the immoral desires or evil designs of others. So a person who fulfills the immoral or evil desires of other person that is called pander. Sentence. Highly trained staff will pander to your every wish. So a trav, uh, so the staff which is highly trained will fulfill, will assist all your uh, immoral desires or evil designs. So the next word is offal. Offal meaning the entrails and internal organs of an animal used as food. So the internal organs of an animal which are being eaten by humans, that is called offal. Sentence, low, no legislation currently exists to prevent offal being exported for human consumption. So there is no uh, legislation which stops the export of internal organs of animals for human consumption. The next word is yammer meaning loud and sustained or repetitive noise. So a sound which is very which is very loud, repetitive, and uh, ear hurting, which is, and you cannot bear with it, it's so loud, that is called yammer. Sentence, the audience crowded in the hall, yammering for the parents of their favorite actress. 
so the hall was full of audience and uh, the all the people were just yelling shouting and in repetitive voices uh, that they want to see their favorite actress so the now these were the words for the day now it's time for the quiz please write the meaning of the following words first word is culpable second pillory third ineptitude fourth exemplary please write the meaning of the following words okay i hope everybody of you have written the answers so now it's time for the answers the first word is culpable culpable means deserving blame something which you have done for which you are to be punished you are to be blamed so that is called culpable the second word is pillory attack or ridicule publicly when you are attacking somebody's image publicly that is called pillory the next word is ineptitude lack of skill or ability so somebody who is not so skilled or able to do something that is called ineptitude and the next word is exemplary serving as a desirable model or very good so something which is extraordinary which is considered as model model for everybody and which is really outstanding and uh, everybody look upon that thing so that is called exemplary so yes these were the words thank you everybody please like and keep sharing